OK, uh, let's talk a little bit about the news that broke this week. Obviously, we've we've heard lots of different things. Uh, Pizza Express is closing down. There are other places on the island that are closing down. And the latest casualty appears to be Brown's Golf Course, which uh, is going to close after years and years and years and kind of throws up, I guess, a big question mark, not only over Brown's Golf Course, but what is happening with Dinosaur Isle. So can you give us a bit of an update on that? Yeah, let's start with Brown's Golf Course, and I'm probably showing my um, age now, but my mum used to work at Brown's Col- Golf Course, sending out all the teas and coffees from the uh, canteen that was there, and uh, I'm sure there are many islanders who have who've managed to become uh, very skillful golfers and, and make their way around the whole course um, and try and get those magic scores on their scorecards. But unfortunately, and it is tragic, that we are suffering really badly in many areas from the impact of coronavirus, and as I said to you a few weeks back, not all businesses were survive. So we're looking at that whole area. What I've had to be careful, I talk about in terms of commercial implications here, but we, we have a very big aspiration. I've been working very hard to develop the whole of Sandown Bay in what I might describe as our own dinosaur destiny, if you like. Um, it's our own kind of Isle of Wight Jurassic Park. It's a fantastic location all the way through from the bandstand at one end to the zoo at the other and everything else in between. And I think there's a real opportunity, which we're currently working on, to provide something really special, not only for the island, but also for people coming to the island. One of the things we're good at, and this uh, is, don't take this the wrong way, is is digging up dinosaurs. And and I think it's a fantastic thing. And I think it's something that the public will uh, buy in if we can invest in it. Beyond that, I can't say too much at the moment because there are some commercial activities, but I hope what people will see is some real positive developments along the whole of that area. So I I know what you're saying as far as commercial um, information you can't give out. So are we expecting something much bigger for that piece of land over the next few years? So the piece of land is actually owned by a series of um, different people. Um, and already at one end, if, for example, people will know the bandstand, which has been developed with the little dinosaur uh, play park area, is owned by the same people that run John O'Groats, Land's End, and some of the other uh, national um, locations. And uh, so they're very keen to to work forward. Um, we've got the zoo there uh, with Charlotte and the team, and I think um, you know there's things we can do to help them. We've got a hotel that's uh, dilapidated that we want to get back into play. We've got the whole of the lake, and those, again, from uh, times gone by, I can remember going out on the canoe lake. But that whole area, for me, offers a fantastic opportunity on the dinosaur theme, let's put it like that, um, for development. And it's about bringing heads together and really getting people to see the vision.